When the Index anime got released back in 2008, I thought nothing of it besides this anime had an OP protagonist and a harem circle. Which, looking back, I kind of watch a lot of series like that. But after finishing season 1 for the first time, nothing made sense. All I knew was the main protagonist was just punching espers and magicians left and right, and I saw this silver haired antagonist, and I was like, this guy. This guy I like. A few years later, when Railgun got greenlit, I decided to rewatch Index Season 1 and 2 while taking up my engineering studies at the time, and I found out. Wait a minute. Their Esper powers are actually. plausible? So, after talking about the powers of the most popular character and waifu in Index, I'm turning my attention to discuss the powers of the most powerful ranked 1 Esper, the self proclaimed villain turned protagonist, and best emo boy overall, One Way Road. Accelerator. Accelerator's Esper ability is simple enough, he can fully manipulate vectors. He's done this countless times throughout the series, being able to redirect Beauty Beauty's railgun, creating and controlling plasma, even creating a new filter system that blocks and counters dark matter. But how is this white haired lowly protector able to do this? To understand this, we need to talk about what he can manipulate in the first place, vectors. Scientifically speaking, vectors are anything that has magnitude and direction. Think of this as direction being point A going to point B, from this point going there, and the magnitude being how much it takes to get from said point A to point B. Now I know this sounds kind of complicated, but let me explain with some real world examples. When a rock is thrown, it's being thrown in a direction with enough magnitude to reach a certain point. Water traveling down a river also has a direction and magnitude, since it's going from point A to B. Electricity also has vectors, as well as wind, voice frequency, plasma, I think you get the general idea. Just think of it as like this. Vector needs a direction and magnitude since it needs to go from one point to another. As long as it has this concept, it has vectors. So Accelerator's manipulation of these vectors come in two forms, his passive reflection barrier and his active vector control. Accelerator's basic most default esper power is his passive reflection barrier. This ability is done subconsciously as there are some objects he can't consciously react to. He does this by only calculating very simple vectors. Like gravity, air pressure, light, oxygen, nitrogen, heat, sound wavelength, electricity, water flow, radiation. Y you know, simple stuff. These calculations are used in a filter system he has for a shield. If it's harmful, redirect it. If it's harmless, nothing happens. There are weaknesses to this filter barrier however, like he had a sucker punch and Kakine's dark matter. Kiara's Sucker Punch bypasses the filter by pulling back at the exact time the filter is being recalculated, and then punching him after the calculation has ended. This small window of opportunity is exploited, and serves as another PTSD after getting punched by Boy Unlucky from before. Kakine's Dark Matter on the other hand was initially a problem, because Dark Matter was something that wasn't in Accelerator's filter calculation because it was purely a theoretical kind of matter. To explain this a little more, let's take for example an air conditioner filter. This filter's job is to block smoke, pollen, dust, or other stuff that's potentially bad for us. Dark matter in this sense is water. You spray water at that filter, the water is still gonna come out. For Axel to fix this, he used the nature of his ability and massive 500 IQ galaxy brain calculations to rewrite his filter system, being able to counter dark matter. This is just scratching the surface of the full potential of his Esper powers, because this is still his passive ability. So, let's talk about what makes the best boy the strongest character in the Index universe, his vector control. This one main ability has given him the nickname, the one who wields the power of God. This isn't an understatement because his active ability literally makes him control almost everything in the world. Dark Matter? Reverse Engineered. Railgun? Mirror Coat. All it takes is a vector, and it's all accelerator, all the time. The difference between his active and passive ability is Accelerator is calculating these different kinds of vectors in real time. So imagine, all these vast formulas and calculations that require the most precise detail and not being off by a single number, and the galaxy brain that Accelerator uses can calculate all of this in mere seconds. It's no understatement when the entire Misaka network only aids in more or less half of his total brain power when he got hardcore nerfed. Looking back throughout the series, this man has been able to literally take down almost everyone in his path. Well, except for a certain unlucky boy. 
Throughout the series though, there are so many examples of him using his active power in the most unique way. The most common skill he uses with this ability is Earthquake Generation. By altering the vector of force applied to the ground by his feet, which requires magnitude and direction, he causes a little explosion to the ground, scattering rocks and debris everywhere. He uses this as his basic form of attack, in addition to launching his body forward towards someone, more or less as a gap closer. Another form of attack he uses is tactile telekinesis. So, remember when I said he can control vectors? He can control them, but in this instance, just the magnitude. Anything he touches, he can change the magnitude of it. When he was fighting against Toma, he did this a lot, kicking a stone and converting the slow magnitude of the rock to something stronger, like a bullet fire from a gun. The same concept is used when he stomped down on the train rails and pushed them out of their sockets. This also holds true when it comes to a person's blood flow. If he's able to directly touch the veins, he can either reverse the blood flow, changing the vector's direction, or have it explode by changing the magnitude, either methods being pretty lethal enough to kill someone. For mobility, he's also able to perform aerokinesis by re-vectoring the surrounding winds and forcing them to gather around at a single point, creating an extremely high velocity wind, as long as the wind isn't dancing around randomly, or if accelerator isn't distracted. He can also control the surrounding vectors around him to make himself go insanely fast. He's also capable of flying by controlling the air around him, as well as landing perfectly fine by changing the state of gravity around him. Accelerator is also shown to be capable of human mind hacking. By manipulating the electric signals of the human body, something that utilizes vectors, he can potentially control and rewrite the memories and personalities of people, in this one case being last order. The problem with this is he needs total and complete concentration. This means he needs to use 100% of his brain power, taking down his redirection barrier and leaving him helpless. This was all pre-nerf, and after he got nerfed, his calculation ability isn't able to do this feat anymore. Not even the Misaka network is able to let him do this anymore. This goes to show how much of his brain power he lost when he got nerfed. Besides mind hacking, the peak of his power lies in two other skills. Plasma manipulation, which can be done by further compressing wind at high speeds at a single point, and kinetic energy manipulation, which is shown more in the light novel. The anime depicts this during the Academy City Invasion arc, where Accelerator literally pulls out a building from its foundation and just flung it at Alistair's windowless building like it was nothing. The light novel is a little different, however. He throws a concrete wall at Alistair's windowless building, but to boost the magnitude, he takes control of the Earth's rotational vectors and transfers it to said concrete wall. This doesn't sound like much, but this slowed down the Earth's rotation by about 5 minutes. The anime doesn't say much if he used the same rotational force when he threw the building at Alistair's building, but we can only assume that he didn't. So, the light novel universe's time is pretty much delayed by like 5 minutes because of this. Even with all these insane overpowered skills that I talked about, he does have one tiny weakness. Well, post nerf weakness, which is his choker. This choker serves as a direct connection with the Misaka network, which pretty much tries to help with Accelerator's brain calculation. Once the battery runs out, he tends to lose about roughly 95% of his brain power. This means he can't go all out all the time. So, as a backup measure, he wields the most powerful weapon made out of pure science. A gun. You might be asking yourself, if he can manipulate almost every object known to man, why would he need a gun? Well, there is one man who can counter every esper and magical ability, but tends to lose to common man-made weapons, like a bat, a knife, and yes, a gun. For his neutral special, he wields a gun. Sup everybody, Bri here. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed the video, smash the like button down below. If you haven't seen the previous science video, click up here. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe to the channel. Please and thank you. That's it for me. I'll see you all next time. Ciao.